Is this happening to your ad campaigns on Amazon? Here are the top three common mistakes to avoid with your PPC ads. Let's get started. PPC ads on Amazon, better known as pay-per-click. A very simple way to create ads on Amazon to promote more visibility for your products and get more sales, but also can be somewhat complicated when you first get started and can lead to a lot of advertising spend with a very high A cost and very low sales. What can you do? What are the top three common mistakes? Here they are, we're gonna be talking about them in this video. Starting off with mistake number one, not negating keywords. What does that mean? So on Amazon, especially if you create auto campaigns or discovery campaigns or broad campaigns, it basically means that you are telling Amazon to advertise to as many keywords as possible so that you can generate data and then you can analyze that data to better target your ad campaigns to the right keywords. With that being said, some of those keywords are gonna be great, some of them are gonna be spending some money and not generating any sales. Hence the reason why you need to be negating those keywords on a frequent basis, somewhat I would suggest a weekly basis. Now to negate those keywords, you need to actually click on your campaigns, go to the search terms and filter your, uh, your uh, campaigns and the search terms basically into either spend or you can even filter them by zero clicks. Uh, or zero, zero sales and 15 clicks so that you can figure out which keywords you need to negate. Let me show you. So as you can see here, this is one of the accounts that we're currently managing. We were able to generate 38,000 dirhams in sales with just 12%, almost 13% ACoS and a ROAS, a return on ad spend of 7.71. This is really, this is like really good results. What can you do to get something similar to this? So I'm in the search terms right here. And if I click on this, it will, if I click on spend, it will filter from highest spend to lowest spend. Let me click on it again. As you can see, the search term lunchbox for adults has spent around 26 dirhams. We've gotten 12 clicks for this product and absolutely 12 clicks for the search term and absolutely zero orders. So I would suggest to wait for a few more clicks because this is a very relatively very important keyword for this product and then negate that keyword if it keeps spending money and not generating any orders. Again, you can also filter by sales. So right here, I've decided to, to generate uh, a, a report of any keyword that has gotten anything higher than zero sales. And as you can see, these two keywords, bento box for adults and bento box, they've gotten one order each, even though they have very little clicks. So that's really cool. That's another way that you can filter. I'm here filtering for any uh, keyword that's gotten more than 10 clicks because I would suggest that you start keeping an eye on those types of keywords. And as you can see, Lunchbox for Adults, which we just saw, and Lunchbox for Kids have both generated 12 and 11 clicks with absolutely no orders. Then um, this depends on how relatively important these keywords are. You either keep them or you wait a little bit and then you negate them once they get to about 15 clicks. All you need to do is take the keyword and click on negative targeting right here. Click on add negative keyword, add the keyword itself right here and then just simply add it. For the full information that we're gonna be discussing in this video, you'll find this really cool downloadable PDF. All you need to do is click on the link in the description box of this video and I'll also leave it in the first comment in the comment section of this video. Add your name, add your email and you will receive the file, the full plan of action by email. And make sure that you thumbs up this video if you find it valuable and also leave us a comment in the comment section below. Have you started advertising? Are you finding it difficult to advertise on Amazon? And always remember as Amazon Sellers Society, we're here to help you and support you, especially if you are selling on Amazon in the Middle East. Feel free to reach out to us on www.assmiddleeast.org. You can find all of the information of how you can communicate with us and how we can help you get started on Amazon in the Middle East. Common mistake number two, turning off ads. Now, you might 
maybe get started working with a new company or a new service provider, or you might just start, decide to get started from zero because your ad campaigns are simply not providing you good results. Now, two main reasons why people might just pause ad campaigns and create new ones, which by the way is a very big mistake, is for example, they've got an ad campaign with hundreds of keywords and it's not generating any any sales except for a few keywords or they've got an ad campaign that is created for lots of products and you know you're not really able to um, take full control of the ad campaign and how it's spending and, and generating sales and how it's spending money in any case it's always better to improve an ad campaign that is already running than to pause it and start all over again and the main reason is because ad campaigns require uh, at least four to six weeks to start generating data and start getting you sales. An ad campaign, especially if it's a discovery campaign, a broad campaign, an auto campaign, will take a while for it to start you know, garnering some information from Amazon and thus it's always better to take an ad campaign that has already been running, that has generated some data, fix it rather than create a new one. And mistake number three, budget or bid. So if you are scared and worried of spending a lot of money on PPC ads, or if that is something that is currently happening with you, naturally what people are going to do, you're going to just go ahead and reduce that daily budget, which is not correct because a daily budget might lead for the ad campaign to run out of budget. And if that's exactly what you want, then that great, that's great. But if that's not what you want, you want the ad campaign to keep running 24 hours a day, then you need to take full control of your ad spend by choosing the right bid or lowering the bid rather than lowering the full daily budget. And remember, if you have an ad campaign that has a very, very small budget, then Amazon will be really worried to advertise your products because you're not giving enough budget or commitment. But if you want to ensure that you are not spending a lot of money and that you can maintain a low A cost and you just basically don't want to be spending a lot of money on ads, make sure that you adjust your bids and not your daily budget. And that's it for this video. Make sure that you thumbs up this video, share it with like-minded people. PPC ads are a great way to get your products more visibility and more customers on Amazon. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.